understand the painting by Leonardo da Vinci a little bit better, we're having a go at drawing it, which is not easy. Leonardo da Vinci was a brilliant artist and he fought very hard to make sure that things like the perspective and the way that some of the language behind the painting was very carefully um, controlled. And he also used quite groundbreaking techniques. He didn't use typical methods of a usual fresco painter in Italy at the time. Um, they would normally paint onto wet plaster and actually Leonardo da Vinci, to try and make his picture more luminous, painted onto dry plaster and he first applied a white ground to try and make it really sing out. And sadly, it meant that the fresco actually after only a few decades started to weather very badly and historically it was neglected for a long long time and I think at one point the church room that he decorated which was going to be a refectory and never was um, where people would be eating their food it became like a storeroom and they even chopped a door where Jesus' feet would have been using um, a painting by one of his pupils and his name I'll probably pronounce really badly is Gian Petrio and he actually took a very good copy of the original Last Supper by his tutor and this is probably actually much easier for you to see how it looks and you even get to see Jesus' feet which as you can see here have gone. Now, when I was a little girl, my parents took me to see this painting in Milan, and I don't remember an awful lot about it, apart from it being very empty, and the day was really hot, and my father was incredibly grumpy, and we found this tiny little church, having walked down lots of narrow streets, and we were almost alone looking at this painting, and it was almost completely unreadable there was a bacteria that had started to attack the colours in the paint and in fact we met a restorer some years later and he described it as the bacteria picking up the colour, walking along a little bit and then dumping it down on the other part of the painting so all the colours were merging and in the 1970s they, there was a huge understanding about how to restore it properly and that's what they did for 20 years, and so now you can see how the store painting looks. 